Welcome into the stomach of the mosquito. We are currently in the stomach of this mosquito. It has taken up a blood meal and all the gametocytes and other things have entered. The gametocytes are set free in the midgut or the stomach and in the stomach what happens? They undergo further development. Further development happens. Now let us see what happens to the male gametocyte. The male gametocyte produces 8 microgametes. Gametocyte becomes gamete. Microgamete. Here you can see a male gametocyte. One male gametocyte is becoming a mic 8 microgametes. See 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here they have, uh, they have motility. Okay, They gain motility. A female gametocyte becomes a macrogamete, just one, okay. This photo is from Panicker textbook, guys. Okay, so the male gamete divides to produce eight microgametes, which are going to be motile. They have whip-like filaments, whip-like filaments. So they are, uh, this is called as ex flagellate X flagellating male gametocyte. What happens to the female gametocyte? It becomes mature and it becomes a female gamete or a macrogamete. It's called as a macrogamete. Now that sight word will go away. That's all. Don't worry. Only sight word will go away. It will become a gamete. Moving on. The macrogamete is fertilized by one of the microgametes to produce what? Zygote. See guys, one thing you should know, in the uh, humans itself, the gametocytes, the female gametocytes will be more. Okay, so don't worry. And here male, one of them is becoming eight. So it's all compensated for. Okay, moving on. We are continuing with the sporogony, mosquito cycle. It is one to four weeks that this happens in the mosquito. Continued, okay. Zygote uh, gradually elongates and within 18 to 24 hours becomes a vermicular motile form with an apical complex anteriorly. This is called as a ukinete. What is this apical complex? Apical complex everywhere one apical complex. Why? Because it has to bind and penetrate, right? That's why. Now what is this um, ukinete going to penetrate? You already know. It is going to penetrate the stomach epithelium of the mosquito. Let's go back completely to the beginning and see this diagram. Then you will understand. This diagram. Look at it in detail here. So, macrogamete and microgamete fuse. They become a ukinete. This ukinete is going to have motility. It will have a pitic complex. That is why it is going to penetrate the epithelial lining of the mosquito stomach wall and it, then it's going to become a and it's just going to lie beneath the basement membrane. So it is a oocyst now. This oocyst actually is a round. It is a sphere with elastic membrane. Okay. And within it a lot of sporozoids are formed. Now with from this mature oocyst. Okay. The sporozoites are released. So the oocyst ruptures. Okay. So you can see here. It's written here. Oocyst ruptures. And the sporozoites are released. And they have somehow reached the salivary glands of the mosquito. The mosquito is now in infective stage. And when it feeds on humans. The sporozoites are injected into the skin capillaries. And again human infection will get initiated. Fine. That's all guys. So the mosquito stomach now has very good temperature and everything for this uh, fertilization etc. So the sexual life cycle is done in the midgut of the mosquito. Sexual life cycle, that and all you have to write. So what is traveling vermicule? It is ukinete. So that's all guys. What happens in the mosquito we have covered now. Still what is there to cover? Pathogenesis, malaria. Malaria pathogenesis is there. And malaria lab diagnosis is also there. And some specific terms we should know. <clears throat> Blackwater fever, QBC test, rapid diagnostic test, etc. Okay. Meet us in the next video. See you. Bye-bye.